YouTube. So I'm back in Florida and I'm literally so excited to be here. And it's really funny to say this, but this is gonna be a sort of tennis tour vlog. And the reason that it's weird that a tennis tour vlog this week is here is because there are only two tournaments in the whole season that we can stay here. So it's very nice to be able to be in the comfort of our own home this week. So I just got in last night. I am sort of just unpacking and organizing right now and sort of resetting before a long few days and then the tournament starts. So I was telling you guys in the last vlog that I had an exciting announcement to make. And this is something that's been in the works for months now. Basically, I was offered this position at the Miami Open to be the chief lifestyle officer of the tournament, which is just such an honor because I'm doing this all at the tournaments anyways. I'm making content, I'm covering the tournaments in a way that's very organic for me because I'm already there because I love the sport. I'm there supporting Tommy. And I would say through dating Tommy, about 30%, 40% of my content naturally has become about tennis because I'm dating a professional tennis player. Through Tommy giving me lessons, through me becoming really interested in the sport, loving the sport, and honestly loving covering the tournaments. I love my tennis content. I love how tennis has afforded me so many amazing opportunities. I feel like my personal sense of style has evolved and changed because of tennis. Anyways, with that being said, the Miami Open recognized sort of what I was doing at these tournaments and offered me this position. It's just really such a cool experience and an honor. And honestly, a bit of a challenge for me. I'm gonna be doing some TV stuff, which is very different from this sort of work that I do where I'm alone, talking to you guys, talking to the camera, and this is obviously very non-scripted and the bulk of the work that I'm going to be doing on this site is actually going to be creating TV style content with the host of the tournament. So although I'm going to be doing a lot of social media stuff for them, with them in a collaborative way, the bulk of this partnership is actually going to be um, really presented and streamed on the TVs all around the site. And I don't have much experience with this, but I know that TV work is much, much different. And I'm really excited for the challenge. I definitely want to do a recap for you guys at the end of the tournament on like how it went, how I'm feeling after doing this sort of thing, and just seeing how I like doing that sort of work. Another really nice part of this partnership is that I'm doing three days on site full days of filming before the tournament. So this partnership is really not dependent on Tommy's results, which is really nice because I do want to be able to focus on Tommy when I'm going to the site to support him. So yeah, that's a really fun update. And I could not have gotten this opportunity without all of the support from you guys. So thank you so much again just for supporting me and for everything. And then after Florida, I'm planning on actually going back to Connecticut, starting to get warmer at home. So I am planning on spending the bulk of the spring and summer based in Connecticut, because that's just my favorite, favorite time there and riding a lot. You're obviously gonna be traveling here and there, popping over to the office in LA and traveling for tennis a bit, but. Okay, now I'm just gonna unpack my suitcase and figure out my outfits and and sort of organize myself. I have an absurd amount of content to create this week for brands, which is amazing. I'm not complaining at all. I need to figure out each day what I'm gonna be shooting so I can be super efficient. I feel like I'm rambling at this point, but something cool about getting this opportunity this week at this tournament is that when my agent secured this deal for me, we actually pitched it out to brands to see if they wanted to be involved in a bigger way, in an exclusive way. So I actually got some of my biggest partnerships that I've ever gotten, which is really, really cool. I'm very grateful. I'm a really, really amazing team at WME and an amazing manager. They got me an exclusive deal with Wella Hair and DSW. And those are both long-term deals, which is really amazing. And then this week I'm also doing Free People Movement, Tatcha Skin Care. What else? Symbiotica, F1, I'm promoting the race and the race in Vegas. And that's all I can think of right now. But it's gonna be a busy week and I'm very excited to bring you guys along with me. So I hope you enjoy this week's vlog.
vlog. We are about to head to the site day two of filming with the Miami Open. We are gonna go to the Nobu restaurant that was just announced. My manager and agent are here. Hi vlog. You've never been in my vlog before. No, I haven't. Three years. Um and then Rachel Queen. Yeah we're filming some like media stuff with the host of the Miami Open. Hey vlog. What are we doing? What are we doing? Sean. We're oh, we're little, in traffic. We're in a little bit of traffic. I um, finished a long day of shooting. It was really fun today. Definitely very tired. It's been a lot of early mornings and long days in the sun. Uh, she's been waking me up in the morning. I've been waking him up early. I don't have anything tomorrow, which is going to be nice. I definitely am going to sleep in. And then my last content that I have to do with the partnership that I'm doing with the Miami Open is on Friday, which is when Tommy plays his match. Um, so yeah, Tommy's playing Friday. I'll finish up my content on that day. She's busy. I tried to get her to take this week off from vlogging, but she's too dedicated to y'all. This is true. Tommy's getting worried about my workload. Vlogging can be stressful because I like want to capture everything but I can't always um but I'm making it work I just really appreciate you guys more than any of my platforms so I definitely wanted to vlog this week even though the days that I'm on the site it's not like much of talking but anyways we're heading back to the house now and I'm gonna cook dinner but Tommy's too lazy to stop at the market. I gotta get treatment too. Okay, that's a good excuse. I'm gonna make some dinner, hang out, put on sweats, and... My mom's in town. Yeah, Tommy's mom's here, which is so nice. She's been doing yard work, and mm -hmm. she planted... What did she plant? She planted like pineapple? Five, five pineapples. Um, and avocado. Avocado. We she, got some cherry tomatoes. I didn't know that. Yep, and those are coming right now. They're like little green balls right now. She's so cute. She asked me what I wanted, and I said a few things. She yeah. did everything. We got a lime tree. She did everything. Like, she did all of it. Yeah. Anyways, yeah, Tommy's mom's here, so we'll just go back and hang out with her and eat and chill tonight. <laughs> Honestly, it's been kind of nice because I've been sick. Since it literally just stopped raining, I'm wearing something very casual to the match, which honestly, guys, is kind of nice. I do really love dressing up for the matches, but there's something about this outfit that is nice. I run to the match now. I'm just wearing a Dairy Boy hat, a Reformation shirt, and Reformation jeans. Um, so, get ahead to the match. <laughs> Monday. Tomorrow. Tomorrow. And you sprained it. Mm -hmm. And it's swollen and it hurts. It's swollen. It hurts a little bit. It's gonna be a grade two sprain. Grade two sprain. And 
week. You said you're gonna be back playing in a week. That's crazy. Okay, well, that's great news. I, I would say probably. No, uh, I don't know. In, in the grade two, probably four weeks before I play tournament. Okay. 